the welcome back guys to some spartacus gods of the arena i am back and in full motion we're just gonna jump into these reactions man um just got back yesterday today is sunday I'm reacting to this today um today i'm gonna be doing episodes four and five um so let's see if i can refresh my memory of what's been going on in this series um, so from the last episode, some things went down. Some things went down, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, Animaeus is n is now taking up the mantle of Doc Torres. So we see how he got there. Basically, had to kill his mentors. Um, but there's still the the thing with his wife and Ganicus. Um, also, the main thing that's really going on. I see what I want to know. What happened? I want to know. If Batiatus killed his dad, that's what I want to know. If he did or if he didn't. Okay, so um, going forward with these three episodes that we have left um, in this, basically a backstory before all the things that took place in season one. You know, all these things I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen next. Um, so I'm thinking because of what happened because. You know, in certain ways, um, as I said, I don't fault his dad to act the way that he does. But he's also, he's not the type of guy that wants to ruffle feathers. And I get it. He don't want to, you know, he, he, he just want to be, he just want to live. You know what I'm saying? But Batiatus, the son... You know what I'm saying? He's look, he's way more ambitious, and he'll do anything to get where he wants to go, even though things just keep getting in the way, and it never works out. And we saw what the results of that is. Um, loving me some some Gaia. I mean, literally in the last episode, I swear. I I mean, I think that was the first. Even though we we have been calling it. You know what I'm saying? A softcore porn with a good story. The last episode really took it to another level where I was like, I don't feel comfortable <laughs> sitting down reacting to this. You know what I'm saying? Because it just it is just out of place. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, not necessarily out of place as in it just wasn't the time. <laughs> you know, so it's just kind of weird to me you know what i'm saying um i usually never watch I, i've i've seen nudity in shows like i've watched shows with nudity sex scenes but spartacus they take it to a whole not a level man like let's be honest you know what i'm saying i mean there's i mean you guys will probably tell me another tv show out there that's actually doing it so explicit i mean i watch power you know what i'm saying i watch power and power, you know, it, it, it's it's there, but, you know, you might see, you know what I'm saying, some breast, you know, you might see some breast, you know, and, and that's about it. Maybe glimpse of other things, but it's like, you know what I'm saying, like it's it's cutting away where, you know what I'm saying, like it, it's just cut, it's cut away, it's cut away, it's cut away, and then it's done. You know what I'm saying? In Spartacus, it's like they want to show you the whole thing. The whole jam session. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, anyways, man, let's jump into these episodes and see where we end up at the end of the day. So, let's jump into it. And I'll see you guys. Make sure to leave a like, of course. And I'll see you guys for the review. All right, so Spartacus, Gods of the Arena, episodes four and five. There's only one episode left for the prequel. I will upload that at some point this week, hopefully. So to see how they wrap things up. But man, that was a great two episodes. They did an excellent job of portraying this these love triangles that has been going on. And how they wrap things up. Things didn't go as I predicted it to go. But it was still wonderful to watch. It was still wonderful to watch. Because um, 
I knew somehow they had to take Titus out of the, the picture. I thought it was going to be Batiatus. They teased us. They teased us. <laughs> but they didn't go. Batiatus, um, the son, Quintus, did not go through with it. So, I'm still of, I, I was still of the mind that this guy, but I'm, I'm glad that it wasn't Quintus that did it. But Lucretia, man, is like, I'm far worse. <laughs> it's like, tell me you're not the snake I thought you was. <laughs> and Lucretia is like, I'm far worse. <laughs> I was like, yo, this, I, 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 I was like, nah, something is going, but that's the thing though. It's like, it's, they, it's, I mean, they do say that that is the, the, um, the, um, the way that women choose to, to kill is more more through poisoning than anything else. I think it's the most used thing that women use to kill and that is poison. Because when you think about it, women prepare your food, they do all of these things for you. They could easily they they have full access to you if you trust them. If you're you get what I'm saying? Like if you trust them. So they have full access to you. They really could take you out without you knowing especially slowly poisoning someone it's not that hard to do actually it's, it's really not that hard to do to slow poison someone because you know you could put fertilizer in their food you know what i'm saying um you could there are plenty of ways that you could slow poison people so not that i'm telling you guys to go do that now not advocating for murder of course i mean if you do enough research watch enough um news and all of this stuff you will notice that it is very common among women to slowly poison their mates and stuff like that they're very black widowish <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know so um so that's not a foreign concept to me at all so i was wondering what was going to happen to him he started coughing heavily you know i had my suspicions about her but there was no indication, you know what I'm saying? Especially the fact that she she actually had her first encounter with Crixus. I thought she had kind of let the situation go and was just like a, a last resort kind of thing with Crixus. You get what I'm saying? To see if maybe she can get pregnant before the time is up that they had to leave the house. So other than that, I mean... Crixus, but the situation with Gannicus and um, I can never remember her name. She she just she just died. I <laughs> I literally do not do not remember her name. I'm gonna go back and look for the name right now, real quick. This this is crazy because she's not really a main character, so it's kind of like you know. Nah, not there. I'm going back to when they were in the cell because he was saying her name a lot. I was telling her to breathe and stuff. Yes, Melita. That's the name. I can never remember her name, no matter how hard I try after the fact. It's like I can never remember her name because it's not a. It's not a very. I mean, the, the name is really pretty. Shit, I would give my daughter that name, but I can't, you know, Melita. It's a really, really nice name, pretty name. Um, yeah, so their situation where she finally decided, you know what, you leave and let me confess to you that I actually have feelings for you. Um, and then to die right there, it would be a problem if Animus, if she died in his you know if he found out that she actually died in his bed that would be a big big problem because he would been asking it was like why didn't why she came to see you why did was she allowed to come see you in the first place you get what i'm saying like you know what i mean like he could have explained it i think he probably would have believed what ganica said like listen man she was just trying to say goodbye because she knew i was gonna get sold and I was leaving the next day, you know, um, maybe Animus would, 
would um believe maybe he wouldn't who knows we know we'll never know but i don't know what's gonna take place in episode six but i'm guessing a lot of these secrets are gonna come out if they do it like that or if they just let it kind of show you how things led into season one um but we'll get to see all of that right so um hopefully i can get to this last episode i'm um by the end of the week i'm really liking the dynamic that they've created for this um this prequel the dynamic the the, the audio cues very good in this episode um um, in episode four and episode and, and episode five, the audio cues, man, the way how they use music to kind of swell up a moment and then it doesn't happen, but still you, you just, it gets you like, is he going to do it? But he didn't, <laughs> but yeah, man. So some great stuff. The situation with Asher, Asher's a bitch, always been, always will be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We know that. Um, so, so yeah, Asher did some crazy stuff, but I, I now I understand how Christmas came to be, you know, learning a little bit more about him and his family lineage and him wanting to fight with his brothers and stuff like that. Just finding little, little stuff about these characters, you know, that we've come to know and love in the season one that we've watched and getting to see how they came up it was really interesting. Um, it's unique the the trident with the net that that is very unique i've never heard of that fighting style that has never ever been featured in any video games ever <laughs> so the whole trident and the net thing like i've never heard of that fighting style so dude, we learned something you know we learned something i'm pretty sure it's, it's an actual thing too because they it has a name <laughs> you know so um, so that was, that, that was great, man. They did, they did an excellent job for these two episodes. They've been killing it this entire prequel. All the episodes I watched really good. The acting never disappoints. You know what I'm saying? Um, so awesome. I didn't, I, I mean, Tuli, Tullius, man, that dude is a, I'm wondering if he's going to get killed in the next episode. He must, something is going to happen with that dude. Because now that Titus is dead, Batiatus can go after him now. He can go after F Tullius like full force. You know what I'm saying? Because he's already secured the arena. So they can go after him full force, no doubt about it. You know, so I'm waiting for that to happen. Hopefully it does happen. And that other one, um... Vettius or whatever his name is that dude he, the both of them needs to go Tullius is a bitch Vettius is a bitch Slonius I don't like him uh, I, I never liked him you know what I'm saying but you can obviously see why him and Batiatus became enemies because he, he he's a butt licker just like Titus <laughs> you know both of them are butt lickers they don't like to ruffle feathers you know what I'm saying um you know to I let me tell you something. To create a character like um, Quintus Batiatus, right? To create a character like that that you 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 hate and you also love him. That's not. It's not hard. No, nah, it's not easy. I should say to create a character like that. To write a character like that because he's 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 an audience pleaser, but he's because he does things that you. He has qualities that you should have. You should be ambitious. You should be shooting for the stars at every turn that you that you get. You should be ambitious. You should be doing these things as an individual in real life. But at the same time, what are you doing to get there? Is that the right thing to do? So it's not easy to write a character like that, man. Because at one moment, you're like, man, man, fuck. Fuck Batiatus, man, <laughs> you know, but at the same time, you're like, man, I wish I had that kind of drive, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, so it's, it's pretty, it's pretty controversial, but we're, we're getting there, um, so I think there's gonna be a showdown in the final episode, of course, so we're looking forward to that, anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of these two episodes, and of course, hit that like button, leave a comment in the comment section, and always, man, subscribe if you know your boy Terabyte Reacts is back, we back at it, Hopefully I can post a schedule by tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. See you guys next time.